Hello everyone, today it's time for a new collection video and this time we will be doing it about the Philips STS201. So I've made various collection videos about the low pressure sodium version of this fixture but this is the high pressure sodium uh, version which is still a fairly common fixture even though it's uh, almost 50 years old. It dates back from the late 70s, early 80s, was quite uh, popular especially for terrains and uh, they were often used at a wall uh, on a wall bracket on buildings and everything but also in street lights that's probably because these were uh, not the most expensive fixtures ever also the design is nothing too uh, special as you can see basically just a box with a ball and then the ballast is in here and you can open the ball with a clip Nothing too uh, special, but I, that's kind of why I like them, because they are, they look vintage and um, they're just very simple. We have a Philips logo on the top, which is right here. We have the logo as well as the name. The top is made from some sort of plastic, which uh, often gets very dirty and grows all kinds of plants and everything on there. And this fixture is actually from the project that we did in Streetlight Vlog, I think it was 86. And right here you can uh, mount the uh, bracket. As you can see it's uh, very small, it's not as uh, usually the Dutch brackets uh, have a bigger diameter. but. It's more common for the, uh, these kinds of fixtures to be mounted uh, on a post or pole anyway. So there's this little thing that you can uh, switch around to put it in a uh, post top as well as a slide on version. Let's open the two screws at the bottom here to get access to the ballast itself. So we can take a look at that. It's a pretty old one all right right here as you can see a old ballast with the capacitor the still in a uh, pretty good condition a closer look at the ballast and at the capacitor so let's open the bowl it's just basically this clip at the front pops open like that and you can open the bowl and let's take a look at the uh, hyper sodium bulb it's the basic Philips some uh, 70 watts that's in here with a starter um, which the older fixtures usually take uh, these bulbs with, that have a starter inside as you can see which they are called some I the I stands for internal. And if you're doing streetlight maintenance and you ever come across a bulb with this tag, then you know I put it in, uh, in the fixture. Well, there isn't much more to the fixture, so let's just turn it on. The uh, bulb isn't that blink happy, sadly. It makes the same uh, sound as a uh, fluorescent bulb normally does. Which it, the thing that's kind of strange about the bulb is that whenever you look at it from the top it seems to be pretty clear but from the side it's very yellow but these uh, bulbs uh, aren't the greatest quality ever they get very yellow very easily but yeah the uh, high pressure sodium light that's coming from it is nice and it's a pretty nice quite maintenance friendly fixture so nothing too bad about it and it's also quite compact it's a like 40 centimeters tall i think which is pretty nice and that's pretty much all i have to say about the philips ses201 um, let me know what you think about it in the comments and thanks a lot for watching have a nice day and see you in the next video